Hello. A French friend of mine can't get over the fact that English people on holiday spend so much time talking about the weather. Perhaps this is just a national characteristic, or maybe it's because we can never be sure what each day will bring. There's certainly been truth in that in South Sea in the last couple of weeks, during which the sea has been flat calm one day and shooting enormous waves across the prom on another. Driving rain in the morning, bright sun in the evening. The weather has indeed been the main topic of conversation in these parts. The exceptionally sunny spell last month released scores of people who'd been locked down since March. To the consternation of the authorities, they came out in their thousands, ready to mingle, to play, to be friendly, and to enjoy each other's company. Everybody was happy. One lady police officer shrugged and said, you've got to admit, the sun brings the best out in people. At the risk of stretching the image to breaking point or beyond, I want to say that this has given me food for thought. I'm not going to fall into the trap of asking if you scatter sunshine by your presence. You would soon switch off if I did. But bear with me for just a moment. Before I was ordained, I was a welfare officer in a London prison. It was a formative time for me, and I learnt many lessons about myself and about other people. But one insight has remained with me for more than half a century, and that is the importance of making another person feel that they have some good in them, and you want to try to bring it out of them. That was a challenge with some of the prisoners, I can tell you, but I was often surprised at the result. There are many people who are weighed down by poverty, illness, anxiety, guilt, a host of reasons. If we are attentive to them and to their needs, it's possible that we can brighten their lives, bring the best out of them, and at the very least, cheer them up. Dare I say, a bit like the sun. Oh, and by the way, it does us a power of good as well. If that sounds a bit far-fetched, childish even, you may prefer the same idea from St Paul in his far from childish epistle to the Galatians, chapter 6, at verse 10. Let us work for the good of all, especially members of the household of faith.